This is Lilium Courtyard, which means, according to Sarif, Orlov is staying in an apartment around here. Seraph, I found Orlov. He's dead. What? Are you sure it's him? Well, technically, I never met him before. I did, however, meet a doctor who looks just like him in Alaska. In that clinic I told you about? His name then was McFadden. Christ, Adam. What exactly happened to you in that clinic? I don't know. I was in the coma ward. It was run by the World Health Organization. Facility 451. Can you dig into it? Of course. I'm gonna search this body and the apartment, and see what I can find. A Taiyong medical vault key. Another good reason to check out the bank again at some point. Orlov's computer. Let's see what he's got. Access granted. There's an email here that suggests that Adam isn't the only person to have been retrofitted with experimental orgs. What's more, some of the other people are also here in Prague. Orlov was supposed to meet up with one Madam photograph to check their progress. Does that mean Orlov was here to keep an eye on Adam? There's also an email here from a Dr. Cipra saying he's also in Prague and one of these assets as they're called is now back in his care. Just how widespread is this? Huh, she looks familiar. Access granted. Cryptic instructions for Madam Photograph. She's working with someone called The Watcher. All of seem to be going by the code name The Visitor. At least, I think so. There's an email here saying that The Visitor needed to be retired. Maybe Adam was getting too close to the truth, so maybe Madam Photograph took him out? There's also an email about leaving some reports and records in a storage locker nearby. Let's check that out. Yeah, this definitely looks like the sort of place a person called Madam Photograph would have. Well, there's no reports here. Wait a minute. We're being followed. They even know where Adam lives. Orlov was keeping tabs on him after all. Have they taken all the evidence and left then? Aha! A message from the Watcher to Madam Photograph. The Watcher left some files in the safe in the apartment for all of. I didn't even realise there was one in there. Let's get back up there, maybe there's still something to find. It's a TF-29 dossier on Adam's medical history. Whoever the Watcher is, they were able to get into TF-29 headquarters and do so without raising an alarm. Just what is going on here?
Make the best of it, he says. What a joke. Going on. Miller sent me to. Check on my progress? Really? I said it would be done when it's done. You can't rush these things, Adam. Excellence takes time. Right. So. Well, I was right. Am I good or am I good? What did you find? Oh, just some isolated fragments from what looks like the bomb's timing mechanism. Get this. It's a Stanic. Stanic? The bomb's timing mechanism was a wristwatch? Security scanners can detect anything with a suspicious electronic circuit, so... Using a low-tech solution is really clever. Stanic watches are custom-made locally. I think I'll pay the shop a visit. Hmm, it's probably closed. Let's see if I can find you a second option. Got it. Nomad Stanek. Founder and owner of the store lives in the Davnia Vod district near Pilgrim Station. That's Putnik Nadraje in Czech, I, I think. Building number 96. Second floor. Thanks. Nice. I'll check it out. Great. Let me know how it goes. Alex, I'm in. Anything I need to know before I start up this chair? Every NSN is different, man, so I'm not sure what to expect. I'm guessing you'll end up in some kind of virtual conference room. No one else should be in there. And if they are? They'll see you as Miller, so say something snippy and log off. <laughs> okay. Where do I find these stored conversations? Hell if I know. This is your plan. But holographic recordings take up a lot of virtual memory, so you may have to look in several places. I'll just have to play it by ear. Exactly. The whisper chip is still in place, though, so we'll both know when you've done it. Good luck, Adam. This is different. What follows is essentially an extended hacking sequence, so I've sped things up a little bit. Except this time, the hacking is a lot more hands-on. There's even some light platforming involved in what is supposed to be a visual representation of a server. The objective is to hunt down all of these towers. If you've played even a little bit of breach mode, you'll know that's pretty much the objective in that too. I've played a fair bit of breach, and it's alright I guess. It puts the Deus Ex gameplay we know through the arcade ringer, throwing in scoring, challenges and all that stuff I usually like, as well as some story to work through. It starts out almost compelling, but then you realise the game is ruled over by the almighty microtransaction. The money you make and the gear you can accumulate in the game are meagre compared to what you can simply buy for real world cash. It has this competitive or even lonesome feel to it as well. 
given the setting, I bet it would have been better if it was more of a cooperative experience. That being said, with how short the main story is, I probably could have done without Breach Mode entirely, in favour of extending the main campaign a little longer. Without spoiling too much right now, Mankind Divided seems to call it a wrap all too quickly, and leaves a sequel hook big enough to catch a whale with, basically the complete opposite to the ending of Human Revolution. Getting back to this though, the best part about this sequence is it shows off just how handy the remote hacking org is. Maybe we could have had other instances of this cyberspace exploration where we had to use the other experimental orgs to get around. I wonder if that was ever a plan. Seems weird to focus on remote hacking so much. Either way, we may have to invest in this at some point. Sending your team to Dubai was my call, but now we need to go by the book. Focus on Ark. You want me to pin all of this on them? The bombings in Prague? The break-in at Bursa Life? Dubai? Officially, all five attacks involved augmented terrorists. Is that clear? Yes, sir. But send the reports if you want me to prove it. Because Ark doesn't operate in North America. Zero priority message. We've got a problem. Miller wants to see a report on the break-in. What break-in? The one your San Francisco research facility is supposed to have any day now. What? What exactly did you tell him? Never mind. I'll take care of it. In fact, it may even help me clean up a related incident. What have you heard from our man inside Ark? Not much. He has to be careful transmitting. Rucker may be onto him. Then it's time for him to use the orchid. Tell him. <sighs> Killing Rucker. Are you sure it's a good idea? I mean, uh, it'll certainly make things easier during phase two, but... Are you doubting me, Joseph? I'm merely concerned that the rest of the council might not like your call. They seem less cohesive these days. Rucker's death may upset some of them, but at this juncture, Brown is the only person we pay attention to. Once Rucker is dead, I'm positive he's going to make his move. Do it! And call. Alex, did you get all that? Hell yeah. Don't tell me this isn't the proof we're looking for, Adam. This is big. Janus needs to hear it. I don't want to talk to him this time. Set it up. Let me know where. It'll have to be somewhere safe. Leave the task force when you can, and I'll contact you with a location. 